thanks to you, everything went a lot better this time. Thank you. Really? So you really don't mind if I stay with you from now on? Of course not. Actually, I... I don't know what I'd do without you. <sighs> Even in the middle of battle, I feel relieved when I hear your voice. I hear you praising me all the time on the battlefield. Like an excited child. Hmm? <sighs> now, it is time to head back. The War Council is about to begin. Wait just a moment, Wonsuo. Go on. Pray something different about me. Huh? Oh, Wonsuo. Um, please accept this. Oh, please. Take this as well. I want you to have this too. Here, take this. <laughs> Thank you. They all look so beautiful. Oh. How dare they? Wan's fall only belongs to me. Ah, so everyone brought Master Guan Suo flowers again, did they? Uh. I don't think you need to worry, though. Why? Master Guan Suo. Uh. <laughs> Master Jiang Wei, do you always get so many flowers? Yes. They bring them to me every day always asking me to wear them. They are all so very nice, don't you think? He is so clueless. When it comes to women, he's oblivious. He doesn't get how I feel about him either? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing really. <gasps> no! You sure? Well, if it's okay, could you help me try to select which flower to wear today? Yes! I'd love to. <laughs> I think I found the perfect one. Uh -huh. General, are you seeing this? This army that you entrusted me with, it has managed to evolve even further. Now! Beautifully, elegantly. It's Zhang. Look at him, he's training. It's awfully intense. It is this precise motion that makes possible such a splendid attack and defense. Do you see? Uh, yes. <gasps> Me too. <gasps> well then, let me show you the utter beauty that our practice has brought out now. I will come right to the point. John Wei, I would like you to help me devise my strategies going forward. You want me to act as your lieutenant? I fought against you not long ago and have only just surrendered to the Shu forces. It is not appropriate for me to accept such an important role. I do not wish to discriminate based on years of service. I am asking you to help me because I believe you are a man of rare intellect. It is a singular honor to receive such praise from a man revered as the Sleeping Dragon and praised as the greatest mind of our age. But are you not concerned that I might betray you and return to Wei? As long as I still have a brush and some ink, I could make sure that such aspersions are cast upon you as to make it impossible for you to work with Wei again. 
but I do not want to do any such thing. It is my desire that you will give your heart and soul to the cause of Shu. Will you work with me to create a land of virtue? I have been moved by your passion and noble ambition. From today on, I will commit my every waking hour to the creation of the land of virtue of which you speak. I will devote myself to your cause, Master Zhuge Liang, Prime Minister, if I may call you that. I am most grateful to you. Sima Yi, you did well in holding off the Shu attack. Much like my predecessor, I place great trust in you. However, I have been hearing strange rumors lately. Have you heard them as well? No, I'm not aware of these rumors you speak of. What are people saying? They say that the Sima family... No, they say that you are plotting to steal the Imperial throne. Forgive me, but those rumors have no basis in reality. Hmm, I wonder if that is true. There is a letter posted on the castle gates everywhere. It says that Master Sima E is plotting to conquer the land. Do you still pretend to know nothing about it? What? What kind of idiot would do something like that? Hiya, please take everybody outside. I wish to speak to Sima Yi and the others alone. As you command. The country is currently in chaos. Due to the sudden death of my predecessor, I do not wish this unrest to spread any further. Sima Yi, forgive me for asking, but would you consider resigning from your post for the good of the land? How can you even ask such a thing? Have you any idea how much my father has done for the Kingdom of Wei? Silence, Zhao. You are standing before your Emperor. Forgive me, Father. If that is your wish, Your Highness, then I have no choice but to obey. She, Zhao. Begin making preparations for us to return to Xuchang. Forgive me, Sima Yi. Despite our most diligent preparations, our previous northern campaign ended in failure. A second such failure will make our land of benevolence an even more distant dream. This time, I propose that we combine our efforts with Wu in order to ensure that the Northern Campaign is successful. While we do have an alliance in place with Wu, our relationship with them is not as it once was. I'm not sure they will be willing to do exactly as we ask. They would most certainly be unwilling if the only benefit were to accrue to us. But on this occasion, the Northern Campaign will be beneficial for both kingdoms. I am confident that I can convince them to cooperate. Very well. If you say so, I am sure you can make it happen. But, Shuge Liang, I want you to make me one promise. I am grateful that you are thinking of the good of the kingdom but I also want you to think a little more of yourself. I am unable to help you myself, but you have Zheng Wei, Jin Sai, and the others. You must allow them to share the burden. Lord Liu Chan, I am not worthy of such words. Father, this incident with the Emperor is beyond unreasonable. I must admit that had Zhao not spoken out of turn like that, I probably would have said something similar myself. Right. See? Even she thinks it was outrageous. 
Father, you have to talk to His Highness now and get him to remove the sanctions on you. Stop making such a fuss. The Emperor is still young. Just because he has assumed the throne does not mean he has the power to restrain long-standing vassals such as us. But, Father... Besides, we will not remain in exile for long. My lord, an Imperial envoy has arrived. Jugo Liang has invaded the Wujang Plains, and they would like you to prepare a plan at once. I must say, the envoy was not very discreet. He told me everything. <laughs> at last, Jugo Liang has made his move. I knew that it was only a matter of time. However, I was not expecting it to be so soon. I do not imagine him to be one to act out of desperation. Father, you mean you anticipated this? Did you accept your exile just so that Juga Liang would be tempted to action? And the rumors that you spread across the land, were they a way of counteracting Juga Liang's plan? <sighs> You really are something else, Father. You said the enemy is at the Ujong Plains. Hmm. I see what Zhuge Liang is up to. Shun Hua, tell the envoy that they cannot attack the Shu army at the Ujong Plains. They are not to mobilize their troops, no matter what. Understood. <laughs> It seems your rest was a short-lived one, my lord. She, Zhao, prepare for war. We are heading to the Wuzhong Plains. We have received a report from the front lines, Prime Minister. The Wei forces are said to be resisting stubbornly, and our men are struggling to make any headway. The battle has degenerated into something of a stalemate. This deadlock looks set to continue for the time being. Sima Yi is a man of rare talent. He has seen my true intentions, and has engaged us in a long-term battle. Your true intentions, my lord? What might those be? We are away from home, Jian Wei. We cannot afford for the battle to drag on. I will go to the front lines myself. It is the only way to resolve this situation. My lord, you must not take such a risk. Please leave this to us. If anything were to happen to you... Jiang Wei, you are well aware that we are facing a powerful foe. They cannot be overcome by me sitting in safety and giving orders. Master Liu Bei and Master Guan Yu both fought bravely to the last on the front lines. I must follow the example they set. Prime Minister... I understand. Come, we must be off. We must bring victory to Shu. Ah, uh, how could this happen? Master Cao Pi! Father, you must not despair. Master Cao Pi's spirit lives on. All hope is not lost. But for Master Sima Yi to be removed from governmental service because of baseless slander, just what is happening to this land? I'm a little conflicted about the whole thing, to be honest. The Cao clans had a rough time of it recently. What with Cao Chou at Xiting and Master Shahu Mao at Jiating. Master Shaho Ba, how can you say such things? You are General Shaho Yuan's son. You must not act in such an obsequious manner. Obsequious? You think? Okay, sorry. I bring news. Shu forces led by Juga Liang have come over Mount Qi to the Uzhong Plains. They appear to be preparing for a long battle. What? Shu's already on the move? 
We must at least do what we can to prevent them from striking first from the Wuxiang Plains. I don't think they can possibly know yet that Master Sima Yi is not here, but the letters which led to the slander against him must have been the work of Zhuge Liang. An Imperial envoy has been sent to Xu Chang to recall Master Sima Yi. You think he'll make it in time? Chang'ang lies just on the other side of the Wujang Plains. I'd like to think the defensive units can hold out, but with no commander? Then my father and I will head there first. Do you have some plan, Lady Xin Xianyin? Not a plan, as such. I just think that my presence may help to ease the fear and unease of the troops. I see. You are right that excessive worry within the ranks is a grave concern. We will accompany you to the Wujang Plains. Are you sure about this? Yes. Please. As you command, leave it to me, Master. Prime Minister, you called for me? Yes. This is? Jian Wei. I entrust you with absolutely everything that I have. Prime Minister, what are you saying? I brought about a land in three parts. But I expect that I will be gone way before. We can bring that land back together. Times are changing. We must gain an advantage before the memory of the benevolent world that Lord Leo Bay dreamt of fades away. <coughs> oh. Oh. I understand. Now, please leave me. Let's go together. What's wrong? You cowards! You won't even come out of your hiding place, huh? If you're not going to fight, then hurry up and run away! <laughs> Damn! Those shoot traitors are getting carried away. Why is Lord Sima'i not moving? Will he allow us to be humiliated like this? Stay calm! The enemy is getting just as impatient as we are. No, no more. Let's do it. Let's show them just what we can do. <laughs> now wait! <laughs> that is exactly what the enemy wants us to do. <sighs> That's exactly right, everyone. No matter what Shu does, we must remain calm and in control. Xian Yi, you! Oh, Lady Xin Chan Yi! Our lady has finally come. It looks like the enemy is just taunting us at the moment. So let us relax and prepare ourselves. Oh, of course, yes, my lady. lady. 
<laughs> you continue to amaze me, young lady. You were able to calm the men so easily. <laughs> but I am very serious. But we must fight our best if we are to have hope for tomorrow. Master Xin Pi, Lady Xin Xianyi, you did well to control the troops and defend your position. It is safe to say that Shu has now lost its chance at victory. <laughs> I am happy to have helped. Anything to ensure that we can all keep moving forward. But Master Sima Yi, why is it that you say Shu has lost its chance at victory? There are two reasons. The first is that they are facing a shortage of provisions after their long journey. Eventually, they are bound to run out of provisions. Our taunts forced them to rush into battle. Now, we just need to wait for them to retreat, and then we can strike. The second reason is... My lord, Lord Man Chung has defeated the Wu army at Pafei. <laughs> this is it. Wu was supposed to be Shu's savior, but they have fallen to our forces. There is no need to wait for them to exhaust their provisions. We shall take the offensive. My showdown with Shu. No, Zhuge Liang himself. Is about to begin. Star fell down. Master Jugo Liang has gone. No, not yet. No, not yet. You pay three. It is not yet! Jubileum! Why do you die? Hmm, you're right. But you cannot fight it when your time comes. But, Master Jugo was rather worried about you, you know? <sighs> Don't worry, because you know, he asked about you. From now on, I will always remain here by your side. I fight only for Shu. You now just watch me fight for Shu. <laughs> what should we do? Are we supposed to continue to keep fighting somehow? I see. No one ever considered that, did they? A battle without Master Jugo Liang. <sighs> the Prime Minister carried on the will of Master Liu Bei and fought for a world without grief. Now, it's time that we carry on that dream. I will fight! Liu Bei's dream must fulfill! Yes. We must never give up on our father's dream. <sighs> we'll carry on this dream we've been entrusted with. Right? Uh, what? Uh, shh. Uh, 
You too. Hey, everyone. Huh? Sorry for keeping you waiting. Look over here. Prime Minister? No, that simply can't be. Huh? You mean you were still alive? This is... A doll of Master Zhugo. Master Zhugo lives. That thought alone would disrupt the enemy and raise the spirits of our allies. My lady. We cannot continue to always lean on Master Zhugo. But, for a time, at least, this doll will lend us some aid. The problem is, it's very heavy. I think we're going to have to improve the wheelchair. Really? It's that heavy? Uh, uh, huh? It doesn't seem that heavy. <laughs> well then, could I ask you to carry it when we go? Sure, I'll do my best. Thank you. Master Sima Yi, the Shu army has begun to retreat. I see. At last. At last, Zhuge Liang has finally met his end. Zhao, can you chase after them? Well, actually, there's a little problem on that front. The Shu forces are retreating in a perfectly unbroken line, and their retreat is defended by a number of traps. If we chase after them, we'll end up being the ones who take damage. That must also be the work of Zhuge Liang. It seems he planned for his possible retreat as well as their assault. He truly is one of the great talents of this land. I doubt we will ever face another of his ability. Father. This should keep Shu and Wu off our backs for a while. Now, we can turn our attention to our internal enemies. We must deal with those who seek to undermine Wei. 